we're going to inoculate grain with liquid culture. So last night we pressure sterilized our grain. It finished up uh, like 10.30 last night. So we let it sit overnight. I left it in the pressure cooker. Um, so I let it sit, nothing can, no, uh, no contaminants can get to it. I let it cool off in the sterile, or in the pressure cooker rather. Uh, I brought it down here. I'm working in front of the flow hood now. So the first thing we want to do is obviously alcohol ourselves. Make sure we've got our, our gloves good and uh, clean. We're just going to try to stay, once we've got them clean, we're going to try to stay in the, in the uh, flow of the flow hood, or in the, in the clean air of the flow hood. So we're going to take off this top. Since I took my hands out of the flow hood area, I'm going to go ahead and hit them with alcohol again because everything in here has been pressure sterilized. So we don't want to uh, introduce any new contaminants if we can avoid it. And you guys saw how much water was put into the pan last night, and you can kind of see how much water's left there. So that's a good amount of water. You don't want to, never want to let these pressure cookers run out of water. Always make sure you have enough water. Um, so everything looks good there. Again, took my hands out of the uh, fluid air space, out of that clean air. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe my hands down again. Over our liquid culture. You know, it's kind of a pain going back and forth when you take your hands out of the flow and clean air and having to keep washing your hands again but it's important that you do this um, you, know, you want to this is this is where the good air is at anything outside of that there's contaminants floating around everywhere and you don't want to introduce contaminants to your mycelium it could actually get in there it could ruin the entire batch so you got to be real careful be very very thorough about your, your cleaning techniques here I always put tin foil back on top of these to protect them. There's a hole that's in the top of here for fresh air exchange. The mycelium still needs to be able to breathe when it's in here. So I uh, put some polyfill in there. That stops any, any contaminants from being able to fall down inside of there. Then I put the tin foil on top just as another, another uh, secure layer to make sure I protect the, uh, the mycelium in there in this, inside this liquid culture. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, I'm going to pop this lid and just get it. I want all the lids to be loose so I don't have to fight with them while I'm, while I'm uh, using the pipette to squeeze the liquid culture, the fluid, out of here and into each one of these jars to inoculate the grain. So I don't want to take the lid completely off yet. I just want to have it loose. Take the foil off the tops of each one of these jars. Just place this foil kind of, you know, if you can keep it in the fluid area. Just try not to put it out in the air where the contaminants can get to them. Now, just as a safety precaution, my, my gloves, I try to keep them clean, I try not to come out of the air, but you never know if you do or don't come out of that air, so I just, I'll re-hit my gloves, and I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna hit the tops of each one of these, so when I'm touching them again, hopefully there's no contaminants on there. Okay, next thing is our pipette, so, Anytime I'm doing liquid culture, the liquid culture, the mycelium gets, can get real thick in there if it's sitting in there. This one has been sitting in here for, for a little while here, for a couple months. So the, the uh, mycelium will get real thick in there, and the pipette has a hard time soaking up that liquid culture. So I, I will cut the end off of it. I have 
alcohol here. I will clean the outside of this thing thoroughly. And then I have a bowl of alcohol here. I pump the alcohol in there, turn this thing around, drop that alcohol out. I'll do this several times. I'll try to make sure it gets all of the inside edges so I let the alcohol pour back out, come across all of the edges. So you make sure this thing is thoroughly clean inside. Once you got it clean, kind of fill it with alcohol so keep the, otherwise these things are plastic and it's kind of heavier on this end you might have it tip out. It's kind of a pain about having to re-clean it again. Okay, so now we're ready to inoculate our grain with liquid culture. So I'll just empty this alcohol out of here. And I'm going to put in each one of these, I'm going to put two squirts of the full pipe bed. So I'll go fill that. One, two. And I'll do the same thing for all of these. So the, the pipette touch anything on the inside of any of the jars. Just another contact point, another another option or opportunity for contamination to get into our work and we want to avoid that. If it does happen to touch the inside of the jar, you know these are sterile so everything should be okay. But again we're just trying to avoid any opportunity for contamination to get in. Once I'm done inoculating grain, the first thing I want to do is I want to get my get my work protected. So this is my mycelium. This is my where I pull everything from. I want to protect this first and foremost. The next thing I want to do is my newly inoculated grain. I'll go put these lids back on top. I'll screw them down, and then I'll put this, the foil back on top of them. First thing. So again, these are protected. get a pen and you want to label again what strain this is so you label it the strain the date and uh, typically that's all I'll put on there is the strain and the date um, I know it's grain so I know it's gonna it's colonizing uh, if you wanted to put liquid culture you could if you wanted to do it from agar if you're using an agar plate instead of liquid culture you could put that if you wanted to just to track how long each thing will take so we've got it, uh, we'll label all four of these, and then before I put them away, um, and now everything is done, right? Everything, all the sterile, everything that we need to worry about sterile is all taken care of. So we can turn the fluid off and everything is fine now. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna shake these jars up, because I wanna, uh, all those little mycelium that's in here, there's millions of little contact points. And the reason I like liquid culture is because those, those little millions of little contact points are spread all across here. So I shake this jar, I'll give it a good shake, Try to get that all throughout there, and we'll see all the different points, contact points the mycelium makes with liquid culture. And we'll do the same process with agar, and you'll see how the difference is and how far, or excuse me, how uh, how much faster liquid culture is than agar. All right, once these are all uh, once they're all shaken. We've got them all labeled. You can just put them on a shelf out in the open. They can be in sunlight. They can be in darkness. It doesn't matter. Uh, sunlight is actually really good for them. You don't, you don't want to completely put them in complete darkness. They will colonize. It just takes a little bit longer.